Hello everybody, Bearded Brush, and uh, we're doing something a bit different today. Rather than the usual Middle Earth stuff and sort of war game stuff in general, um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Aoshima's uh, 144th scale Kawasaki Ki-48 light bomber, uh, nicknamed by the Allies as the Lily. Um, and the reason for this is I am a fan of war of World War Two and World War One in particular, to be honest. Um, I say fan, interest, maybe fan's the wrong word to use, but for, uh, you know, interest. Um, I had grandparents, obviously, that fought in World War Two. My great-granddad, well, great-great-granddad, um, was obviously in World War One. My, my uh, granddad was in World War Two. He fought uh, the Japanese, funnily enough, with the RAF Regiment in Burma. Um, again, didn't say much, like a lot of them didn't, but uh, it's through that I've always had a unusual interest in Japanese uh, things um, and as you may know from a very early video that I did I studied Iaido for many years, uh, five years in total um, learning the art of the samurai sword, I'm a huge fan of samurais, I'm a huge fan of all that sort of stuff and uh, yeah it sort of evolved so fast forward all these years um, and obviously I'm a war game as I said but I've slowly become more and more interested in doing some actual like what I would call real model kits because Obviously not knocking 40k on models like that, but the models aren't exactly taxing to build, are they? Let's face it. Um, I do miss making something more interesting, more technical, more accurate to what the actual real life item was. Um, and so for that reason, I've gone out and bought a couple of kits. Now a very quick shout out goes to this shop which I'm so pleased with. They don't even know I've done this video. They're very local. They're in a village right next to Sudbury called Long Melford, or Melford to the locals. Model Behaviour. They've got some great stuff in there. Uh, not just model kits like, you know, World War II stuff. They've got loads of that sort of stuff. Airfix, Revel, um, all sorts of other kits. I couldn't even Tatamiya. You name it. They have lots of different stuff. Um, but they've also got a small selection of uh, railway trains, model trains, Hornby. Uh, again, there's so much there. You've got to check it out. They do paints, brushes, and also just normal art craft type stuff. Um, they've got a brilliant, uh, like a wooden type dragon where you wind it up and it'll flap its wings. It's fantastic. So if you are local to Sudbury, check them out. They really are cool. Like I say, I've not been told or paid to say anything about them. This is just me off my own back, just giving them a little mention because I'm so pleased that we have a shop in the local area which isn't just the rinse and repeat calves and all that sort of stuff. I know it's hard for normal retail shops to make uh, ends meet these days and full credit to anyone to try it out. I think it's fantastic. So with all that out of the way, let's check out Aoshima Kawasaki Type, well, Type 99 Ki-48. Kawasaki Ki-48. Look at that box art. That is fantastic. That is really cool. Um, good price um, from the shop as usual. Good, good, good. Really pleased with that. Um, and so I, again, you see, this is this is me being a novice to this. I've been looking into this for a few months, but again, I'm a novice to this. Now you get two kits in a box. Obviously, this is a very tiny scale, but two kits in a box, still really good, really good. Um, I know many other <laughs> model companies where you would get one tiny, tiny kit for that price you could just get one figurine about that big for that price. So this is fantastic. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. Really, really cool. Um, and I cannot wait to get this thing opened up, painted and all the rest of it. I mean, just look at that, it's fantastic. Also, I have a huge fascination with uh, Japanese stuff in general. Um, great little box art, it's just cool, all around the size. Obviously a lot of this is in Japanese, um, so I'm sure there's lots of uh, <laughs> tidbits and whatnot really to probably read there but I haven't got a clue if any of you can read Japanese do let me know but yeah I've got a huge interest in Japanese warfare and what they did their weapons their vehicles um, I could go on for ages so let's just stick with this so a little bit of history on this very quickly so this is a a twin engined light bomber um, obviously used during World War Two, and obviously as I said its allied name was the Lily um, uh, it served in China in 1940, uh, early 1940 or late, something like 1940. Um, over time, it started to struggle. Um, they were slow and you could say not greatly armed 
you know, obviously the Allies, the Americans and stuff, they, they, were, they were snowballing their advancement in technology very quickly. So the Japanese were starting to come undone from what was originally very successful weapons and uh, equipment, vehicles, truck, you know, especially Air Force. Uh, it was very powerful in the early days, as I'm sure a lot of you know. Um, they kept being used in service um, until, after, until the Battle of Okinawa. Um, and after that they were converted, or well, many were converted into kamikaze aircraft. And that was kind of sort of the downfall of them. And obviously by then it wasn't long really before uh, <laughs> before Japan was to surrender after a very large bomb went off. Um, but yeah, very successful at first. Uh, very, very respected as m much many of their aircraft were. Let's put that there. Oh, we also went to Duxford the other day, which is fantastic. So let's have a little look in the box. With all that out of the way. So we have got. Oh man, this is so diddy. <laughs> okay, so here's the instructions. Oh, do you know what? I'm a sucker for that sort of smell of paper. It's like a yellowishness to this sort of paper. That's a smell. I love the smell of the print. <laughs> uh, what have we got? So we've got English there. That's cool. Uh, it's got a little. Yeah, yeah, English and different languages. So that's cool. Each piece is broken down in little paragraphs. That's cool. Uh, there's the assembly instructions. Yep, sprue check. Uh, looks like you've got transfer details there of how you might want them to look. Again, I can't read in Japanese. I have to do some research. Sorry. Got two different types there of the way it can work for their squadrons, I assume, or their purpose. Um, so I'd have to look into that. But yeah, there you go. You've got little tips on obviously the transfers or decals, as they call it. I still call them transfers, to be honest, but decals, decals, decals. Uh, very simple instructions. Not too bad at all. Yep, that'll go nicely. That's cool. You've got a little bit of history there by the looks of it. Yep, a little bit of history there. T -t satisfied with the success of the predecessor, predecessor Type 93 tw twin engine light bombers. Japanese military instructed Kawasaki Heavy Industries to manufacture the prototype of a new twin engine light bomber in 37. And it goes on and goes on and goes on. So that's awesome. Cool. So that's that. That's really good. I'm liking the, I'm liking the look of this company. I assume I haven't got a clue who they are until I bought this kit. I haven't got a clue who they were. Um, what we'll do, I might just open up just the one to be honest. There's no point in opening up the other one because they're literally the same. So let's have a look. Oh, oh, open up. A little bit tricky. Okay, so here are the transfers, or decals, sorry. Wow, look at them. Well, they look good for transfers. Uh, decals, sorry, I must keep using decals. Oh, wrong way around. So yeah, cool, got the little white. And I think it goes in the middle, does it? Somewhere, maybe? Uh, maybe. It's got lots of, these are the side ones. There's a white highlight, a white ring that goes around the red, and these red ones are probably for the wings. Uh, you've got some information there. Ah, see, these are the two different versions for the tail. Okay, that makes sense. And then little bits probably go along the body of the plane somewhere. I guess so that says 1144, so it's probably not. That might be for something else. But anyway, so there's the decals. Very nice. Yep, they're cool. Look good. They look, they do look very nice quality. Actually, they look very. There's no, no, they do look very nice. From what I can tell of uh, watching, studying on YouTube and things, they look pretty good. So that's cool. Put them there. So we've got the. Oh, it's all got a bit bundled in. Okay, let's take it out all in one hit. That's gonna work out best, isn't it? Okay. Uh, there we go. Cool. So first up. Whoops. God, break it. Don't do that. First up, so we've got the canopy pieces, the glass pieces, clear plastic. Look at that, that's good. Wow, I don't know if you can see. Not quite going to the point. Oh, there you go, sort of got it almost. But the detail on the, the panels, or the, the pieces of glass that obviously, you know, over the nose as such, are very nicely detailed. You can really see the lines of where the glass pieces, panels, wherever go together, as in real life. Very cool. Got the two different canopies, one there and one there. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, that's really good. My plan is actually to very slightly try and paint over this. I can do that. For those of the, for those of the, you that haven't watched this, what, what I do, I have very fine paintbrushes for painting eyes and things. So to do little lines like this, I can hand paint them on fine. So that's cool. Uh, we've got the wings. We've got these little oil barrels. Look at oil barrels. Hmm, I have to look at that on the instructions. Got some teeny tiny pieces here. Look, whatever this is. So little radio pieces, antenna, maybe some gun barrels there. 
Uh, obviously got the wings, you got the uh, tail wings. <laughs> Apologies, forgive my ignorance. Um, I'm in no way an expert at these kits. This is something I'm now getting into myself. So please forgive me. I will get better, I promise. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, this is cool. The detail's fantastic. I think it's fantastic. Look at it. It's tiny. I mean, I'm used to 28mm wargaming, but even so, this is very tiny. That's cool. Cool. Yep, I like that. There's a lot of flash on this, just on the side note. That's not a problem, because I'm used to flash working with Finecast through Forge Rails Resin and Games Workshop and stuff, so that's not a problem. But, uh, yeah, quite a lot of flash there. We've got the uh, rotor blades, the little wheel pieces there, the, the whatever you call them, bring the wheels down, I can't think we call it. It's more pointy bits there. Obviously, we've got the body. Body's lovely sculpt as well, the design. Are these sculpted? Are these like computer sculpted? But again, look really good. Engines there, twin engines. Lots of detail on the engines. I'm not sure if you can. There we go, block out May's face. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, looks really good. Yeah, it's really cool. Really like that. It's really good. Body's fantastic. Yep. Very excited to paint these. Very excited to build them. It's going to be really cool. Looks like there's no internal detail, but because they're so small, to be honest, I wouldn't expect it to be that way. Yeah, no, it's just flush plastic. Yes, there's no internal detail. That's fine. Absolutely fine. I can fully understand that. But there you go. Cool. That's awesome. I can't wait. And the fact you get two is, I'm really, you know, quite surprised and pleased about that, to be honest, because that's really good. That's really good value, I think. I think it is anyway. I'm not sure what other people think in the, in the usual... Uh, actual scale figure model you know hobby what they think of that as pricing um since i've seen some people talk about like 6.99 being a, a pretty okay price for certain models and i think 6.99 really that's a bargain i wish i could buy some of the models i get for 6.99 and they're sort of talking about it as if it's uh you know yeah you could get it better than 6.99 but yeah that's okay so <laughs> you know I, i'm i'm still new to a lot of this but uh but no yeah that's fantastic that's really cool ayashima ashima Ayoshima. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that. That's really cool. Gorgeous box art. Lovely little fun model. Can't wait to build them up. It's going to be fantastic. Um, yeah. So, let me know what you guys think. Would you like to see some more videos of uh, this type of thing? Is that something you're interested in on a little side note? Let me know. I'll do these as I go along. Um, but also, also in all seriousness, um, usual subscribers don't worry nothing's changing i'm still gonna do plenty of war game stuff plenty of middle earth stuff it's what i do it's my passion um but this is just a fun little side thing and i thought why not do a video um if people aren't keen on it i won't do any more and if people are interested then i'll do a couple of videos here and there but th that will be here and there um and it's going to mainly focus on the japanese kits as well um so yeah thanks for watching guys let me know what you think um hardcore um scale replica model modeling people let me know what you think how was it <laughs> and uh thanks again thank you everyone as always for watching my videos and i shall see you soon take it easy bye bye